Everyone knows the precedent that the Korean Overwatch scene has set in terms of skill and production, but when listing its spoons, many seem to miss out on the fact that the Korean scene has long served as a backdrop for some of the most epic storylines in the game's esports history. From its very beginning in Apex, the Korean scene had rich narratives, expertly weaved amongst unmatched skill and finesse, that had viewers hooked. Apex was the place where a runner punched out a ceiling tile, Lunatic High and Kongdu Panthera climaxed their long-standing rivalry in a gruelling four-hour best of seven finale, and DC Busan took the Royal Road straight from Open Division to the final Apex Championship, continuing on to become the inaugural Overwatch League champs. Apex may be over, but Contenders Korea has proven just as narratively rich. This is where Runaway finally broke their bridesmaids curse and took first place, the trigger they needed to catapult up into the league and dominate the second season, despite questionably founded doubts that they were an owl level, as triggering as that may sound. Runaway, the new class, had dauntingly large shoes to fill, but managed to prove worthy of the pink jersey as they came to dominate Contenders, until a sudden flip, in which Element Mystic charged on, finally winning the tournament title that was tipped to be there since 2017. And in wake of all that, this year's second season of Korean Contenders carries some of the most tantalizing storylines, clashes, heroes, villains, and underdogs that the Korean scene has offered since its apex days, and promises to be one for the storybooks, regardless of how it unfolds. So before the first chapter officially begins on the 25th with the first games of the round robin, let's take a look at the cast for the season 2 saga. Fusion University's sudden arrival in Korean contenders mimics the opening of any good sports-related movie, a new kid moving to a firmly established scene ready to prove themselves. This new kid, however, comes with quite the pedigree, having completely dominated the Western scene, reigning as unchallenged contenders North American champions since its inaugural season. The big move came due to Blizzard's soft region lock for Tier 2 teams, where the org chose to relocate to accommodate rather than cut their existing Korean players. Now we have the ultimate showdown, the best of the West taking on the masters of the East. Of course, the best of the West comes with a caveat and that half of their active roster is Korean, making their Western players the first to compete in the Korean scene since Rogue and Envious back in Apex. But the sentiment is still strong. This is a Western team from a Western org with a Western coach challenging the Koreans on their own turf. Fusion Uni's journey had to begin from the bottom, earning their spot in the regular season by qualifying from trials. Not even flight delays and sickness could prove an obstacle in their destructive path. They emerge from trials undefeated, ready to take on the Titans in the regular season. And if they win, they will be the first and likely only team to have a clean sweep, taking first place in two contenders regions, and have a very strong argument to being the best tier 2 team. But to do so, they have a lot of matches to win. Trials was but a warm-up. Fujian University must prove themselves against Korea's bigger and biggest names in the regular season. And their first opponents? Where to even begin with the story of Runaway? Our video Why Everyone Loves Runaway is a pretty good place, FYI. Their history as one of the OG orgs of the Korean Overwatch scene is long and storied, but we're in its second phase, the new class. When the first iteration of Runaway was promoted to the league as the Vancouver Titans, Runner and his wife Flowerbin stayed behind to guide the next generation to wear the pink mantle. They had some big shoes to fill, but proved any concerns about living up to their predecessors completely unnecessary as they swept in to defend the title and win Season 3 of 2018 in a very dominant fashion. But the new year came with a shock. They finished the 2019 Season 1 group stage with the top seed, but then they stumbled out of nowhere, knocked out of the playoffs by O2 Blast at the semi-finals. Fans were shocked not to see their favourite boys in pink in the grand finals. But they went on to regroup and try again, regaining clout with first place at the NetEase Spring 2019 tournament, against some admittedly weaker opponents. Contender Season 2 is their chance to prove that they can get the same results again against the bigger names, and their stumble in the playoffs was a one-off. They've made some changes, adding former team MVP DPS ace Yaki to their roster, and are ready to take on the new season. Runaway has a lot of glory to reclaim and a dominance to reassert, but that won't be so easy with Fusion Uni touching down Eastside and their old rivals finally finding their rhythm. When Contenders first rose from the ashes of Apex, everyone pegged it as Element Mystics to win. They came out of group stages undefeated, poised to power through the playoffs. But then they choked. They lost to fourth place qualifiers O2 Ardeont in the quarterfinals. Then came season two, where they looked just as dominant coming out of group stages, but they choked again, adding slightly closer this time as they lost to Runaway in the semi-finals. Season 3 looked like their best shot, with Runaway fielding a completely new roster, but Element Mystic still fell at the final hurdle, losing 4-1 in the grand finale. 
Quarterfinals, semifinals, grand finals. The last step was lifting the trophy, and it looked unlikely at the start of 2019's first season, as he started group stages with some unexpected losses, before snapping out of it and starting to gain momentum mid-stage. They went into playoffs determined and didn't drop a single map, finally earning their first title with a definitive 4-0. And now they firmly found their rhythm, making quick work of the Pacific Showdown and adding another title to their 2019 belt. They haven't lost a match since mid-April. Now to defend their title and keep their win streak, Element Mystic have to face their rivals with something to prove, a new challenger from the West, and let's not forget a newly emerging threat that's nipping at their ankles. O2 Blast was a team that no one saw coming, partially because they were overlooked despite having some serious scene veterans in their lineup, and partially because they just didn't make much of an impression, often ending the season's middle of the pack. But in the season 1 playoff, something just clicked with O2. They fully activated, with Kaiser back on his signature hero and, in the most poetic of motions, brought a classic Kaiser Earth Shatter down to cinch a key match against his former squad, sending Runaway home in the semi-finals 3-0, much to everyone's surprise. O2 Blast may have gone on to lose in the finals with a very decisive 4-0, but their defeat seemed to serve only to light a fire beneath them as they proceeded on to the Pacific Showdown. They stomped their way through the first rounds and reached the grand finals, a rematch against Element Mystic, and whilst O2 lost again, it was a much closer affair, taking two maps before losing Blizzard World and ultimately a chance at the title. The growth from Season 1 to the Pacific Showdown showed us that there may be an even higher peak of O2 skill that we haven't yet seen. If the only way is up for O2 Blast, then Season 2 may just be the grounds for them to surprise us all again. Hey, they've done it before. Twice. But no grand drama is complete without its supporting cast, and the remaining four teams taking part in the round robin can't be immediately counted out. Mata Athena completely retooled their roster and coaching staff for Season 2, and whilst their new team is certainly green, they do seem to be finding their footing rather quickly, qualifying second from trials behind Fusion University with only one loss. Perhaps they will follow in the footsteps of WGS Armament in 2018's Season 3. The rookies that rose from third place in trials went super saiyan towards the end of group stages and made it all the way to the top four. Armament has made playoffs again in Season 1, but half of their team has just been promoted to the league, so who knows where they'll end up in Season 2. Gen G comes into contenders off of their best finish yet last season, and with a new team of Overwatch League dropdowns and well-known tier 2 names built around support veteran Dance. Season 1 was their first outing as a newly fielded roster, perhaps the added experience is what they need to reach the finals. The group is rounded out by GC Busan Wave, a team everyone thought had a real shot at upsetting Element Mystic and Runaway's fight for the title. Whilst they proved to be rather inconsistent in Season 1, GC Busan Wave has experience on their side. While other Korean rosters seem to be a continuous game of musical chairs, GC Busan has fielded the same roster since mid-2018. With DPS coming back into vogue and some star snipers at their disposal, perhaps Season 2 will prove another case of long time coming. There are 7 weeks of the regular season poised to unfold, which means 7 weeks as a canvas to create some great esports storylines as the 8 teams battle it out to make the playoffs. Whoever is the last team standing will lift the trophy and claim the title as Season 2 champions, but that's only the start of the saga, as the top three teams will then go on to represent the region in the gauntlet, allowing for some epic chances of redemption, reiteration and revenge. It all kicks off on June 25th. We'll be giving weekly recaps on all of the action, as well as roster updates, team news and games to watch in our Nerf This series which comes out every Tuesday, so be sure to subscribe to keep up to date. Who do you think will win Season 2 of Contenders Korea 2019? Let us know in the comments below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!